Can you talk a little bit about the industry, where you see it currently and where you see it going? It's changed so much. When I first started out in the industry, people were looking to fill a space with an image. You had a space in a magazine, you had a space in an ad, and you needed an image of blank, and you needed to get it from a professional. Now, with amazing consumer cameras, Instagram, Flickr, you don't need to pay a professional to fill a space. There are a lot of ways to fill a space. So the only reason to hire a professional and pay the rates that allow them to make a living is if they can offer something that you can't get anywhere else. And the only way that they can offer something that you can't get somewhere else is if they have their own voice and vision. Now that has changed. It used to be that somebody that could light and show up and make a portrait was of value. That person is of no value anymore. They have to have something to say. It's so important that they can walk away and say, oh, did you see that guy who blank? I mean, it, anybody who will talk about a sort of memory and marketing is, as much as you don't want to admit this to yourself, because of course you think, every artist thinks they're a unique flower, but you will get reduced to one sentence. And it's your job to fill that sentence. So you have to think about how you want people to refer to you in one sentence. John is that guy who makes really funny conceptual portraiture. Or Stephanie is that girl that does really fun, colorful still lives. And of course, you're both so much more than that. But if there's a sentence that somebody fills in, it's your job through your book and your marketing and everything you say and do, to complete that sentence. And those are the artists that are interesting to me. Certainly the artists that make me remember them. Uh, where I say, oh, I want to know that guy, or I want to see more of those pictures, or that makes me smile every time that comes in my inbox. Those are the only artists sort of worth, worth remembering. And people want to appropriate their messages for their brands or their magazines or whatever it is. They'll say, do what you do, but for us. Um, which is a very different conversation than 10, 15 years ago, which is we need a picture of a boat. I would say now photographers, illustrators, set designers are more art directors than they've ever been before uh, because their creativity is something that uh, agencies and clients are gleaning. But I would say the biggest change, I've seen two big changes. Everything is heading towards motion. Clients don't want to pay for two productions anymore. So if they have hair and makeup and models in a set for motion, they want to shoot alongside broadcast. A lot of my artists who do have strong artistic voices, instead of shooting alongside somebody else's vision, want to be leading that vision. And so that's naturally leading into direction. Commercial uh, directors are gathered from the cream of the crop of people making major motion pictures as well. So a lot of times they'll start making video for web and then they'll go into major broadcast. But um, it's definitely, the, the budgets are being all pushed towards broadcast. There's certainly a lot more social media shooting though going on, which is really fun and great. It's lower budget than print advertising. Um, but it's still higher budget than editorial. And a lot of times big brands want artists to be shooting their Instagrams, why not? So that's happening. And an interesting thing with that is that it really matters what your audience is and how big your audience is. So we have lost jobs because photographers we were up against have more Instagram followers. Uh, it has nothing to do with the nature of the photography. It has to do with the built-in audience that you're bringing to a client. And it's hard to argue with that. It makes sense. The other thing for the industry that I have noticed is that a lot of things are going uh, in-house. And some brands that seem like they would be huge brands are actually not as big budget as you would think. And they, brands that you see around you every day, and they opt to go directly to a photographer. It can be a very nice way to work because there's a lot less red tape. And that's something that's, that's happening more and more, you think? Yeah, so I always suggest people to recognize the brands that they feel aligned with, that they like, and reach out to them and say, who's your VP of marketing? I'd love to come in and meet with them. Or I've been wearing your jeans for 15 years. I'd do anything. Or I've dressed all my friends in your jeans. I just wanted you to see these pictures. Or I've been eating your lollipops for 20 years. And you know, if you ever want to do any kind of partnership, I'm down. I, it sounds crazy, but I think that following what you love is much 
is a much better uh, way to spend your time than following what you think other people love. I like that. I think that's a good way to end it.